All right, all right. Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening and welcome. So here we are once again, um, ready to get started on our second last class. You know, it's it's about to be done. We are about to get to the end um, of this thing. Now, um, it is a pleasure being here with you guys once again. I hope that, you know, for this evening, we are going to be able to gather some great information as well. Um, tonight we are going to be doing something that I might, I myself consider to be special, but still, you know, it's up to everyone else or anyone else to decide whether or not you guys like this activity. Um, my purpose, my offer for tonight specifically is that we go ahead and talk a little bit about, um, or not talk, but do some reading. Okay, I want us to practice reading because, as I said um, before, I feel like it is very important, you know, to to practice as much as possible of this um, skill because, yeah, uh, it is one of the, well, one of the least um, things that we practice is something that, well, not many people do actually practice. Um, so, yeah. I want to do that. I want to go ahead, you know, and uh, give you guys some some reading exercises that uh, we can try. And uh, yeah, that's basically one part of what I want to do. Then I want to go ahead and share with you guys something that I also consider to be very important for, you know, English learners or people who are um, getting into this language which is a little bit of idioms. I don't know if you guys have any idea of what it refers to, but idioms are, you know, phrases um, that people use in English. People are using as a means, as the same way that we use refranes or dichos in English, in Spanish. So basically that is what idioms stands for. So the idea is that, you know, we get to know a little bit better how um, Americans or native users of the language communicate with these secret codes, if we can refer to them as that. Uh, but yeah, idioms are normally seen, you know, as, as a means of transmitting a message in, of course, different words. And the other person has like the key to unlock the code and understand what the message is. So yeah. Basically, that is, you know, a, a, a thing that I have been wanting to share with you guys since uh, a while ago, because um, as I said, idioms are very useful, sí. Son bastante útiles y la otra cosa es que a veces nosotros en eh, series, en películas, en diferentes cosas llegamos a escuchar acerca de estos idioms, pero luego no sabemos necesariamente de qué se tratan, ¿verdad? Entonces, o a qué se refieren. Esta noche yo quiero compartirles algunos, tal vez no todos porque soy un montonón, pero pues eh, algunos idioms sí se puede. Pero lo principal sería eso, a hacer un poco de lectura, sí, porque pues es una de las habilidades que menos practicamos, que menos eh, ejercitamos. Entonces hoy vamos a estar ejercitando un poco de esto, ¿verdad? La lectura. Y por otro lado, eh, tengo otra cosa que quería compartirles y es um, some acronyms, sí. Tenemos acronyms. Eh, pero pues a lo que lo que quiero es que lleguemos también a conocer un poco acerca de qué significan algunos de estos acrónimos, sí, acrónimos o pues siglas que eh, se utilizan bastante en inglés, pero que a veces no tenemos idea, verdad, de qué significan. Entonces la idea hoy es compartirles esto, compartirles tanta info como se pueda acerca de estos detalles que son así uh, específicos del inglés. Pero bueno, before we get to that, um, so for tonight, I wanted to ask you guys the last question, the last free question. And uh, now it's going to be about, well, um, information. So if you were able to unlock a secret, you know, a secret, mostly let's think about the government or governments, you know, in general, if you were able to unlock a secret, what secret would you like to get? So a secret coming from the government, sí. Estoy preguntándoles básicamente, o sea, si pudiesen tener acceso a, a un secreto gubernamental, 
de este país puede ser, puede ser de Estados Unidos, de donde ustedes piensen que sea mejor, um, o un secreto de in industrial también, o sea, en las industrias, ¿verdad? Algo que ustedes quisieran saber, una receta, puede ser, no estoy hablando acerca de cosas tan intensas, o sea, puede ser una receta. Eh, ¿Cuál les gustaría tener? Bueno, mejor cambiemos la pregunta un poco, porque si no puede que sea muy complicada. A ver, si ustedes pudiesen robarse una receta, sí, de un restaurante, ¿qué receta se robarían ustedes? Sí, if you were able to get one recipe from one restaurant, what recipe would you like to get? Ok, así se, se, sería mejor, más fácil, ¿verdad? El poder eh, pensar en una respuesta. So yeah, if you guys were able to do that, to unlock or to um, get one recipe from uh, a restaurant, Which one would you like to get? Um, if you want me to start, I can share my recipe. And the, the one that I would love to, to get is the recipe for um, spicy guacamole burgers from Wendy's because I love those things. Okay, so the spicy guacamole burgers from, uh, or well, chicken sandwiches from Wendy's, I love them. And uh, that is, you know, the recipe that I would love to get and to know how to prepare that. So now, in the case of uh, um, Edwin, I haven't heard from you in the last few days, so we're going to start with you. So Edwin, if you could get one recipe from one restaurant, which, which one would you like to get? Hello. Hello there. Good evening. Well, in my case, I, I love coffee. I, will, I would like to, to get a reset of coffee, but... Uh, Juan Valdez. Hmm. Okay. Great. Uh, I think uh, the is very, very delicious. And in 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 El Salvador, I don't know uh, a factory to prepare uh, this coffee. Mm -hmm. Only Colombia, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So yeah, the recipe to prepare Juan Valdez coffee. Great, very good. Um, Edwin, can I ask you something? What does it say on your on your hoodie? Can I see what what the letters are on the hoodie? Um, I don't understand the question. The the letters on your hoodie, las letras en en tu en tu en tu hoodie. Ah. Uh... Oh, bands, bands. Oh, bands. I thought it was, I thought it was NASA. I thought it was NASA. Ah, I, was, no. I was gonna, I was gonna ask you. Es que la cosa es que es parte de los acrónimos que tengo hoy, la NASA. Entonces, si oh, era okay. NASA, iba a preguntar, like, do you know the meaning behind those, those four letters? Igual. No. So, we're, yeah, we're gonna discover them later, okay? So, yeah, good. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. okay. How about in the case of, uh, let's see, um, Gilbert, in your case, Gilbert. If you could get one recipe from one restaurant, which recipe would you like to get? Uh, good evening, teacher. In my cow, my cow is uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you don't have an idea right now of what recipe would you like to get. That's okay. That's understandable. All right. Um, how, <clears throat> sorry. How about in the case of Cindy? Cindy Aldana, in your case, Cindy, if you could get one recipe from one restaurant, which recipe would you like to get? Good evening. Um, now I'm seeing... Which one? Uh, hello? Yes, yes, yes. ¿Cuál uh, dijo? Uh, no. Oh, none, none, none. But I would have liked to know for Pollo Campero. But oh. um, antes uh -huh. was the flower was excellent. But now yeah. it's yeah, now gone it's down. Yeah, it's not the same. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Era mejor antes. Sí. ¿Ustedes tienen campestre cerca o no? Pollo campestre. Aquí en Merliot hay uno. Y no le gusta. 
poco, es algo picante. Eso, eso es lo que más nos gusta a nosotros, porque bueno, el pueblo campestre inició más que todo acá en Oriente, ¿va? entonces este, para nosotros, bueno, mi papá es el único acá en la casa, ahora que me acuerdo, a quien le gusta más el campero que el campestre, porque nosotros cuando compramos pollo así, pollo frito, pues acá en el tránsito hay un campestre, es mucho más fácil ir al campestre, pero sí, eso es muy cierto, antes o sea el campero tenía un sabor mucho más rico, pero ahora siento que, o sea, siento como muy comercial. Like, you know, it, it basically has no taste. So, yeah, I don't see why people still take pollo campero to um to the U.S. Because it doesn't taste the same. You know, in my case, at least my family, they don't bring pollo campero anymore. They If they bring any any kind of chicken, it will be campestre. Si, o sea, mi familia, si llevan pollo, pollo para Estados Unidos, es el campestre, ya no el campero. Y lo bueno es que ya en el aeropuerto hay un campestre. Así que, yeah, we save the trouble of, you know, putting it in the in the suitcase from, from right on. So yeah, um, good. The old person of Pollo Campero. Great, that is a great answer. Very good. Um, how about in the case of uh, Flor, Flor Ramos? Si usted pudiese Flor. Oh yeah, if you could, sorry, get one recipe from one restaurant, which recipe would you like to get? Mm -hmm. No, I could be because some one mm, go would like to know the preparation for insert chia tea. Mm, okay. Chia of tea. the restaurant uh, Olala. Oh, good. Very good. Um, nice. Very, very nice. Um, so yeah. The recipe for Shia tea from the restaurant Olala. Oh, Very good. Now that you mentioned that, I would love to get the recipe, another recipe, um, the recipe for um, matcha, you know, for matcha teas or frappes, because I love matcha. So, yeah, that will be one of the recipes that I would love to get. Good. Very es good. Que es muy uh -huh. diferente a, a cómo se llama, al que venden en, en coffee cup. Mm -hmm. al de Olala y el de Starbucks. Mm. A mi hermana el que le gusta es el que venden en Pronto, el que la, 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 la tienda de la 1. Mm. Entonces, ajá, a ella ese le, ese le gusta bastante, dice que, o sea, que le gusta bastante el, el, que, el que venden ahí. Nunca hemos, ajá, nunca hemos probado el de Olala, ahora que lo recuerdo, pero a, 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 a mi hermana en su caso es el que más le gusta, el que venden en, en Pronto. Ajá. Bueno, okay. ella es del tipo que no le pone azúcar al café, así que se puede hacer una idea. Sí. Ah, igual. <ríe> y es bien rapidito. Sí, o sea, <ríe> mi hermana es de esas. Le pone, si es instantáneo, ¿verdad? Le pone dos sobres y nada de, de azúcar. Si es, claro, el otro lo mismo. O sea, a veces yo le hago maraña porque yo le pongo azúcar cuando lo estoy preparando, el café. O sea, donde está el, el, el pot del café en el filtro, yo le pongo un poquito de azúcar de nave. Ah, pues poquito, no tanto. Entonces, Pero a veces. Sin cremora. No, eso no. Ah, yo la cremora ni leche. O sea, yo sí tomo ah. café sin nada. O sea, ah, sí tomo okay. café. Con, si no soy tanto de café, pero si tomo café, canela tal vez, porque me gusta el sabor que tiene con canela, pero de ahí para allá, cremora, leche, nada. That is not for me. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. okay, good. Very good. So, thank you very much, Flor. Um, how about in the case of, let's see, um, David. So, David, in your case, David, if you could Uh, get one recipe from one rest from one restaurant. Which recipe would you like to get? All right, maybe David is busy right now. Um, how about in the case of Aida then? So Aida, if you could get one recipe from one restaurant, which one would you like to get? Good night, teacher. Um, my recipe will be sweet and so food, chicken. Mm -hmm. I love it so much. All right. So sweet and sour Chinese chicken. Um, actually, that's what I had for dinner yesterday. De hecho, eso cené anoche. Mi hermana sabe, sabe hacerlo, así que al rato le digo que le hago, le hago un video. Okay. Tenía un <laughs> Thanks. Tony, estaba, estaba bien bueno, la verdad. Bueno, esta mujer se pone a inventar, a veces solo me dice, tráeme esto, 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 y es como que, yeah, she's very good at, you know, at cooking mostly Asian uh, food, because, well, she's a little bit, she has her eyes that are a little bit tight, 
So I always call her, you know, um, Chinita. Um, so yeah, she's very good at making uh, those kinds of food. Um, but yeah, the sweet and sour, it is a great, great, um, you know, uh, chicken to, to taste. So good. Thank you very much, Aida. How about in the case of, um, let's see, um, Maria Esther. How about you, Esther? Which would be the, the recipe that you would like to get from a restaurant? Mm, teacher, the question is recipe that I need to do or no. I need to learn? No, that you would like to, to steal. La que le gustaría robarse de un restaurante. O sea, algo que usted haya comido que sea tan bueno que usted le gustaría robarse la, la receta de un, del restaurante que lo prepara. Ah, ok. In my case, I would like to know how to do bread shrimp. shrimp. Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like shrimp bread. Yes. Uh -huh. Is bread shrimp, right? Oh, yeah, bread shrimp. Los camarones empanizados. Yes. Mm -hmm. Be why? Because it's, it's not easy to do because I like cooking but mm -hmm. when i prepare shrimps it's impossible to bread yeah or at least to, to make them look the same I as the restaurant mm, yes i need mm -hmm. to I need to watch mm -hmm. okay good I'm sí, not o sea, person. Sí, porque casi siempre, bueno, nosotros hemos intentado también, porque en mi caso, en mi casa, nos gusta mucho intentar eh, recetas diferentes. Entonces, eh, probamos a hacer de todo tipo de cosas. Y eso es algo que intentamos ya dos veces. Y siempre nos quedan así bien colochos, o sea, extremadamente colochos los, los eh, camarones. O sea, como que el, el breading o el, el empanizado es... Eh, no sé, muy abundante, no es el correcto. So yeah, they don't taste the same. And the, the shrimp inside, it is cooked, but sometimes it's not, you know, as juicy. So yeah, it is a, it would be a great, great recipe. But to steal from a it is totally different when I prepare bread shrimps mm -hmm. and what happened with my mom prepare this recipe is different, but the taste the, the taste is the pronunciation? Yeah, the taste, the, the flavor. Uh -huh. You can say both, both. Sí, el taste or flavor. So, okay. So, is, is your mom's recipe better than yours? Does su mamá queda mejor? Yeah. Or, yeah? My mom is the winner. Oh, okay. Great. Very good. Very, very good. I, I try. Not every day, but because it, because shrimps is... Expensive. Is, it's expensive, yes, and it's impossible to buy maybe one or two times in the year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, it's something that you can you can still try. You know, you can continue trying. So, yeah, hopefully one day you're going to make it. Hopefully. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much. All right. How about if we hear from one more person? And uh, I would like to hear from... Uh, Magdalena, so in your case, Magdalena, if you were able to steal one recipe from a restaurant, which one would you like to get? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Well, I have a little, little problem because I don't cook very well. <laughs> For that, I would like to have any easier recipes mm -hmm. uh, because even also I have the best recipe uh, it will be too hard for me to do it wet, but uh, I would like to have the recipe of Coca Cola <laughs> because oh. they will have to pay me a lot of money to keep me the secret. <laughs> okay, good, very good. Yeah, that sounds yes, sounds like a magic trick, you know, sounds like a magic trick. Sería casi como, eh, como Don Cangrejo con la de la Cangre Burger. Sí. So, yeah, yeah, very good. Sounds, you know, like a really, like a magic trick. De verdad, suena como un truco de magia, ¿verdad? El, el mago eh, resultó vencido. Ok, bueno, les decía entonces al principio, para los que no se habían unido cuando inició esto, cuando les hablaba acerca de esto, 
Esta noche les traigo esta propuesta, practicar un poco lectura. Tengo tres lecturas, me imagino que acá en la parte izquierda de la pantalla pueden más o menos ver que cada una va incrementando un poco en su complejidad, sí. Pero eh, anoche vi que, o sea, que estamos bien en cierto modo con la lectura, pero que quizás necesitamos un poco más de práctica. Entonces, por eso decidí, ¿verdad?, aprovechar este día y traerles eh, estos tres párrafos. Cada uno incrementa un poco, como les digo, la dificultad. Ustedes pueden elegir cuál practicar, en qué orden hacerlo, pero mi idea es que al menos... Eh, que todos practiquen al menos uno de estos ¿sí? puede ser el corto, puede ser este otro mediano o puede ser este más largo entonces pero que todos logren practicar al menos uno um, bueno, les voy a dar el ejemplo de cómo sería, cómo debería sonar cada uno y luego ya de forma voluntaria ustedes pueden ir alzando su mano, abriendo su micrófono y diciéndome teacher yo quiero practicar y eligen cuál, ¿sí? o sea pueden elegir eh, primero, segundo, tercero ustedes eligen cuál quieren practicar, no hay problema, lo importante es que todos tengan la oportunidad de hacer al menos uno de los párrafos. So, we have this one. This is Chin Jun's emergency. Um, the paragraph should sound as following. Chin Jun is a construction worker. One day at work, he drops a block on his foot. He can't move his foot. He thinks it's broken. His friend calls 911, an ambulance takes him to a hospital. That's the first one. It's very easy. Then we have the second one. Mrs. Kennedy. Mrs. Kennedy is in the school, is the school principal. She has a good job. She isn't married. She is widowed. She has two sons and one daughter. Her son, Eric, is single. Her son, Brian, is married. Brian doesn't have children. Her daughter, Veronica, is married. Veronica has two children. Jessica is Mrs. Kennedy's granddaughter. Her grandson's name is Ben. Mrs. Kennedy doesn't have any brothers. She has two sisters. Okay, so that's the second one. It's a little bit harder. And then we have the last one. Este ya es completo, ¿verdad? Ese otro anterior era como un montón de oraciones juntas. Ahora tenemos este que es una práctica completa. Sharing responsibilities. So here we have it. In today's society, the role men play is different from years past. Before, men work at jobs to earn money and women stay home to take care of the children. Now, many women have jobs and work outside of the home. These women do not have time to do all of the housework. Usually, their husbands help, um, help them at home. In the United States today, couples share the chores and responsibilities at home. Often men do many of the chores that women did before. Men do the dishes, they do the laundry, they make dinner, and they clean the house. Men also spend more time taking care of the children than before. There is no such thing as men's work and women's work anymore. Now it's just work. Okay, so, ahí los tienen. Esos son los tres párrafos. Así que vamos a ver, ¿quién quisiera iniciar y con cuál párrafo quiere iniciar? Nadie. <laughs> Me I can. Sure. Which one would you like to read? It's okay, actually. This one? Yes. All, all right, go ahead then. Okay. In today's society, the role men play is different from years past. Before, men work, work a job to earn money and women stay home to take care of the children. No, many women have jobs and work outside of the home. These women do not have time to do a lot, to do all of the housework. Usually, their husband help them at home. In the United States today, couples share the chores and responsibility at home. Often men do many of the chores that women did before. Uh, men do the dishes, they do the laundry, they make dinner, and they clean the house. Men also spend more time taking taking care of the children than before. There is no such, no such things as men's work and women's work anymore. Now it's all just work. All right, very good. Thank you. 
Uh, okay, so Ana, Ana Chavarria, which one would you like to practice? This paragraph, the second or the first one? Sorry, I cannot I cannot hear you right now. Veo que su micrófono está activo, pero no logro escucharle. Podríamos intentar con quizás desconectar o mover un poco el, el auricular. Maybe. Hola. Ok, there we go. Ahora sí. Ahora sí. sí. El primero, teacher. Ok, there you have it then. Eh, Sin Hun is constru construction worker. One day on work, he dropped a block on his foot. Chicken. Move his foot. He think it's broken. His friends call 911 and ambulance take him to a hospital. All right, very good. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Aida. Vi que por ahí tenía la mano alzada. So, Aida, which one would you like to practice? Um, and three. Uh, okay, so number three. There we have it. And today, to say that the role men play is different from each other's past. Before me, work at home to hear money, and the woman stay at home to take care of the children. No main woman have hopes on the world outside of the home. This woman do not have time to do all of the awesome You say oh. that... Husband, hus, husband help, help them at the home and in the United States to the charity and the responsible a home of the men to many of the chores they women did before men to teach they or the laundry they make dinner and the clean the house may also husband more time taking care of the children than before. There is no such thinking and as men work and women is work anymore. Now it's hot who's work. It's all just work. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Um, how about Gilbert? In your case, Gilbert, which one would you like to practice? Number three, teacher. Okay, so here you have it then. Sharing responsibilities. In today's society, the role men play is different from in your past, before. Men work a job to earn money and women stay home. Mm -hmm. To take care of the children. Now many women have jobs and work outside of the home. This woman don't have time to all of the housework. Usually their husband help them at home. In the United States today, couples share the chores and responsibility at home. Often men do many of the chores that women did before. Men do dishes, they do laundry, they make dinner, and they clean the house. Men also spend more time talking care on the children than before. There is no such thing in men's work and women. Works anymore, anymore. now it's our job work. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Gilbert. Uh, all right, how about um, Ana Lucia? In your case, which one would you like to practice? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, lectura two. Okay, there you have it. Okay, and let's see. Okay. Mr. Kennedy, the school principal. She has a good job. She is in Mary. She is with the well. She has two sons and one daughter. Her son Eric is single. Her son Brian is married. 
Brian doesn't have children. Her daughter Veronica is married. Veronica has two children. Jessica is Mr. Kennedy's granddaughter. Her grandson's name is Ben. Mr. Kennedy doesn't have any brother. He has two sisters. Ok, very good. Nice. Muy bien. A pesar de que es toda trabada la lectura, hizo muy, muy buen trabajo. So, thank you very much. Um, all right. Who else is ready to practice? ¿A quién más le gustaría practicar ahora? Ya tenemos a varios de ustedes. So, who would like to practice now? Me, teacher. Okay. Let's hear which one would you like to read, Esther? Three. All right. So, here we have it then. Society. Okay. In today's society, the role men plays is different from in years past. Before, before men worked at at jobs to earn money, and women stayed home to take care of the children. Now, many women have jobs and work outside of the of the home these women do not have time to do all of the housework usually their husbands help them at home in the united states today couples share the chores and responsibilities at home after men do many of the chores that that women did before, men do the dishes, they do the laundry, they make a dinner, and they clean the house. Men also spend more time taking care of the children than before. There is no such things as men's work and, and women's work anymore. Now it's all just work. Okay, thank you very much. So there we have it. Um, yeah, that's the way in which we are um, supposed to read this. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Uh, who would like to do it now? ¿A quién le gustaría practicar ahora? We still have some people left. Ya les dije, la idea es que todos tengamos al menos una oportunidad. So, let's see. Um, Javier, good. So, Javier, which one would you like to practice? Uh, I practice uh, actually. Okay. Uh, reading the practice, sharing the responsibilities. Is today's society. Is the rule mean play is different from in the years past. Before men working, is a chance to earn the money in the woman stay home to take the care of the children. Now, many women has a job in the work outside of the home. These the women who do not have the time to do I of the house the work. Usually their husband helped them at home. In the United States today, couples share share the uh, chores in the responsibilities at home often they meet to many of the chores that women did before men that do dish they they do loudly they made dinner and they clean the house mean they also spend more time taking the care of the children than before there is no such thing in so many words i want a woman's work anymore. Now it's all just work. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. That is great. Uh, nice. Okay. Um, how about David? In your case, David, which one would you like to practice? Okay. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, I just read only that. Yeah. 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 Okay. In today's society, the role men play is different from in year past. Before, men work at jobs to earn money and women stay home. 
to take care of the children. Now, many women uh, have jobs and work outside of the home. These women do not have time to do all of the housework. Usually, their husbands help them at home. In the United States today, couples share the church and responsibilities at home. Often, men do many of the courts and women did before. Men do the dishes, they do the laundry, they make dinner, and they clean the house. Men also spend more team time talking care of children than before. There's no such thing as men's work and women's work anymore. Now it's all just work. All right, very good. Thank you very much. And uh, um, great. So how about we now hear from one more of you guys? Because, yeah, you did very, very good, David. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, tenemos que, creo que como cuatro personas más que nos hacen falta. So who would like to practice now? Teacher, I want to practice because I'm bad at <laughs> writing. Which one would you like to do? Um... Is it Italian? Okay, good. Good, good, good. So go ahead, Carmen, when you're ready. Okay. In today's society, the role men play is different from in years past. Before, men worked at jobs to earn money and women stay home to take care of the children. Now, many women have jobs and work outside of the home. These women do not have time to do all of the housework. Usually, their husband um, hay un, un sí, cuadrito sí, y no Ahí está, ya está. <laughs> um, help them at home. In the United States today, couples share the chores and responsibilities at home, often men do many of the chores that women did before. Men do the dishes, they do the laundry or laundry, they make our dinner, and they clean the house. Men also spend more time taking care of the children than before. There is no such things as men's work and women's work anymore. Now it's all just work. All right, very good. Thank you very much. You said you were bad, but you were not bad. I mean, you, you read pretty, pretty well. So yeah, did a great job. Okay, Flor, uh, which one would you like to do now? Thank you. Huh? Number two? Two. Okay, there we have it then. Mr. Kennedy. Mr. Kennedy is the school principal. She has a, a good job. She is not married. She is with the women. She was uh, to some and one daughter. Here some Eric is single. Here some Brian is married. Brian does not have children, her daughter, Veronica is married, Veronica has two children, Jessica and Mr. Kennedy, granddaughter, her granddaughter, Nai is being, Mr. Kennedy does not have any brother, she has two sisters. All right, very good. You have a great, great pace for the reading. Sí, estuvo muy, muy bien. Porque, como les digo, esta, esta lectura yo siento que es como la más compleja, al menos a mí es la que más se me hace rara, porque está así como toda eh, trabada, digamos, porque tiene un montón de puntos, pero igual. Um, yeah, very good. Very, very good. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. All right. So who do we have left? Veamos aquí en nos hace falta uh, Magdalena. So yeah, Magdalena yeah. and uh, Oscar. 
Sí, y María Martínez. Son Magdalena, Oscar y María, y creo que también Cindy. Entonces, ustedes. Magdalena, would you like to do it now? Yes, I would. Which one would you like to do? Um, the number three. Number three. Okay, there we have it yeah. then. In today's society, the role men played is different from in years past. Before, men worked at jobs to earn money and women stayed home to take care of the children. Now, many women have jobs and work outside of the home. These women don't have time to do all of the housework. Usually, their husbands help them at home. In the United States today, couples share the chores and responsibilities at home. Often, men do many of the chores that women did before. Men to do the dishes, they do the laundry, then make the dinner, and they clean the house. Men also spend more time taking care of the children than before. There is no such a thing as men's work and women's work anymore. Now, it's all just work. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Great, great job. All right. Um, who would like to do it now? Tenemos todavía Cindy, Oscar y María Martínez. So, who of you guys would like to do it? Me. So, Cindy, which one would you like to do? Uh, number two. All right, so here we have it. Number two. Okay, Mrs. Kennedy. Mrs. Kennedy is the school principal. She has a good job. She isn't married. She is widowed. She has two sons and one daughter. Her son, Eric, is single. Her son, Brian, is married. Brian doesn't have children. Her daughter, Veronica, is married. Veronica has two children, Jessica and Mrs. Kennedy's granddaughter. Her grandson name is Ben. Mrs. Kennedy doesn't have any brothers. She has two sisters. Very good. Thank you very much. Um, ok, ya en un momento les voy a decir también algunas de las palabras verdad que estaba escuchando que um, podríamos pronunciar mejor, pero igual. Vamos a ver. Um, so Oscar y María Martínez. Oh. Ok, Oscar. Hey, hello. Which one would you like to do? No, eso está bien. Ok, good. Miss, Miss Kennedy is the school principal. She has a good job. She is married. She is widow well. She has two sons and one danger. Her son Eric is single. Her son Brian is married. Brian doesn't have children. Her danger Veronica is married. Veronica has two children. Jessica is Mr. Kennedy. Grande, her grandson, Nayis Ben. Mr. Kennedy doesn't have any brother. She has two sisters. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, okay, and now how about Maria Martinez? Hello, teacher. Hello, Hello Which one would you like to do, Maria? Number one or number two or number three? Number two. Okay, so here you have it. Este es el dos. No, sí. ¿verdad? Ese es el dos. Okay. Ese, ese otro es el tres. Ese, ese. Ah, el ah okay. Okay, okay, okay. Y today, society, the whole men play in different from in years past. Before men, Work it a job to earn money and women start home to take care of the children. Now many women have job 
and work outside of the home. This this mom this this woman do not have time to do all of the home housework work. Usually, her husband help them at home. In the United States today, couples share to clerk and responsibilities at home. Often men to men do many of the clothes that women did before. Men do the dish, they do the laundry, they make that dinner and their clear house. Men also spend more time talking care of the children than before. There is some such thing as men's work and women's for anymore. Now it is all just work. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, great. So guys, you did a great job. Sí, o sea, creo que ya esos son todos. Creo que ya todos tuvimos la chance de practicar. Así que bueno, hicimos un muy buen trabajo. Sí. Eh, solamente un par de palabritas hay quizás que resaltar o recalcar cómo sería la pronunciación más apropiada, digamos. Um, para este creo que ninguno. Sí, o sea, bueno, creo que no hay ninguna palabra tan llamativa en este caso. Ahora, acá sí. Por ejemplo, en, cuando vemos esto, esta sigla, sí, MRS, eh, por lo general se dice meses, sí, meses. Y eso se refiere a hablar acerca de la señora, o sea, cuando ya, eh, digamos, una mujer se casa, sí, pasa a ser una meses. Entonces, en, en Estados Unidos, conste, eh, no hay como tanta flexibilidad en esto, Allá tal vez no, es, no exista lo del de, eh, que, o sea, aquí, ¿verdad? Eh, dicen, por ejemplo, de González, de Castillo, de, de el apellido que sea. Allá no existe tanto esto, sino que lo que sucede es que simplemente se suprime el apellido de la mujer y el apellido del hombre es el apellido que queda como el apellido de la familia. Entonces, a partir de ahí, o sea, ya no, ya no va a ser... Um, o sea, eso les, se los, principalmente para las personas, ¿verdad?, que son como nacidas allá. O sea, los hispanos tendrán sus reglas y los nombres hispanos quedan siempre con dos apellidos y uno el, el original de la mujer y luego el otro, si se quiere, um, el apellido verdad del esposo. Aquí somos un poquito más flexibles con eso incluso, porque o sea, se puede llegar a llevar a cabo una boda en la cual ni siquiera se toquen los apellidos en absoluto. Entonces, pero en Estados Unidos es un tanto... No sé ni cómo llamarlo, pero para mí anticuado esto, ¿verdad? Que, eh, pues, básicamente se elimina, se suprime al 100% el apellido de la mujer, porque solamente tienen un apellido, y pasa a ser el apellido del hombre, el que suena nada más. Entonces, aunque ella haya sido antes, qué sé yo, um, Miss Thompson, por decir algo, ¿sí? Cuando era Miss, ¿verdad? Cuando era señorita, sí, era señorita Thompson, So, Miss Thompson, pero ahora es Mrs. Kennedy. Ese apellido Kennedy viene entonces de su esposo. Sí, entonces es muy diferente al apellido o al nombre original que ella tenía. Ok, so, Mrs. Kennedy, eso sería una cosa, ¿verdad? Decir Mrs. cuando nos encontramos con esto. No es Miss, no es Mr. Mr. sería solamente M y R. Sí, la Mrs. Miss, perdón, se escribe así nada más. Miss, para recortar el Miss es así. Entonces, M-R-S es meses, sí, meses. Ok, luego, otra de las palabras que acá teníamos era esta acá. A ver, con todos los verbos que se utilizan en inglés, cuando terminan en ed, estos verbos simplemente se pronuncian como ed, sí, widowed, widowed. Entonces, no tendríamos que decir widowed, sino widowed. Widowed, nada más, sí. Luego teníamos otro por acá, married, por ejemplo. Married, no decimos married. La E, esa última E, no suena, no sonará. O sea, no sonará tan obvia, al menos. Sí, sería widowed, married. 
Um, entonces, esa era una, una de, las, de las palabritas, ¿verdad? Que teníamos también que um, como cambiar un poco. Luego está daughter. Sí, daughter. Imagínense que dice esto nada más. Así, daughter. Cuando ustedes ven este montón de letras, ¿verdad? Que componen la palabra eh, hija. O sea, ustedes simplemente digan daughter y ya está. Sí, daughter. Esa es la forma de construir eh, la palabra hija. Sí, daughter. Um, de esta otra, bueno, esta también que era un tanto compleja porque es una palabra bastante grande, ¿verdad? Granddaughter. Granddaughter se refiere a nieta, sí. Granddaughter es una nieta, so yeah, granddaughter. Um, ¿Qué más? De aquí creo que solamente esas eran, sí. Granddaughter y el grandson, eso es más fácil, el grandson es nieto. So, granddaughter, nieta, grandson, nieto. Okay. Uh, then we have over here, in this one, we have a few words that we need to remember how to say. Por ejemplo, la palabra woman se utiliza para hablar acerca del singular cuando está escrito así. Woman. Sí, woman. Eso significa mujer, una sola mujer. Sí, pero esta palabra se pronunciaría women, sí, women. Yo sé que la, la, la letra o el cambio de la letra no está al principio, pero el cambio en la pronunciación sí se hace al principio, ¿ok? Se diría women, sí, women, y ese ya es en plural, sí, women. Um, aquí una vez más, lo de la repetición, ¿verdad?, de los, de los eh, verbos, ¿qué sería? Word worked, no worked, sino que solamente diríamos worked, stayed, lo mismo, ¿verdad? Stayed, en lugar de decirlos tan complicados como stayed o algo así, no, solo sería stayed. Uh, ¿Y qué más? Bueno, eh, sí, por aquí había otra. Bueno, husbands es fácil, sí, husbands, husbands. O oh, la otra cosa, que todas las palabras en inglés con una J se van a pronunciar como si fuesen con una Y. Entonces, en lugar de decir hubs, diríamos jobs, ¿sí? Jobs. Entonces, en lugar de decir, por ejemplo, aquí just, diríamos just, just. Entonces, siempre que se encuentren ustedes con una J, va a ser eh, casi como si fuese una Y o Y en español. El sonido que ustedes van a emitir. Um, luego tenemos acá housework, otra de las palabras importantes, housework. Housework básicamente significa lo mismo. Sorry. Housework básicamente significa lo mismo que esta palabrita de acá, miren. Chores. Chores. Sí. Housework y chores es básicamente, o sea, la misma cosa. Porque housework se refiere al trabajo de la casa y chores se refiere a los quehaceres. Entonces, o sea, estamos hablando de la misma situación, ¿verdad? Entonces, housework and chores. Mm -hmm. um, bueno, eh, luego couples, esta palabra de acá, couples, sí, Co couples, casi como si fuese una A nada más, como dijésemos así, couples, sí, couples, couples, obviamente modificando un poco el sonido, pero básicamente sería lo que estamos diciendo, sí, couples, couples, y esto es, es para hablar acerca de las parejas. Eh, no solo parejas sentimentales, también se puede utilizar para hablar acerca de parejas, como en el sentido de que ustedes vayan a hacer un trabajo en pareja. Eh, o si ustedes, por ejemplo, tienen parejas para... Eh, oh, oh, cierto. Como si ustedes quieren decir, necesito un par de, qué sé yo, martillos, ¿sí? I need a couple hammers. Entonces, un par de martillos. A couple hammers. Um, conste... No es que es estricto, así como funciona en español, ¿verdad? Que en español decimos, eh, necesito un par de clavos y no dijimos, o sea, eso no significa que son dos. Es cierto, la forma correcta de usarlo sería que un par de clavos sean solamente dos clavos, pero pues muchos entendemos un par de clavos como un puñado de clavos. Entonces, así mismo funciona en inglés. Si ustedes dicen, I need a couple nails, eh, no se va a entender que necesitan estrictamente dos eh, clavos, sino que necesitan unos cuantos, ¿verdad? A couple. Entonces, la palabra couple se puede utilizar de forma muy, muy similar a cómo funciona 
par o pareja en español. Ok, so couple. Um, bueno, esta otra, share, fácil, ¿verdad? Share, para hablar acerca de compartir. Mm, luego, acá, lo de men do the dishes, significa que los hombres lavan los trastes. Así se dice lavar trastes, ¿verdad? Simplemente do the dishes, sí, do the dishes. Lo mismo para lavar ropa, do the laundry, sí, do the laundry. Ahora, es bien importante aclarar que cuando hablamos de do the laundry no es igual que acá. O sea, no estoy diciendo que sea malo diferente, o, o, o sea, malo necesariamente que se haga a la forma de acá, o como es lo común, digamos, pero el do the laundry es mayormente con máquinas, ¿verdad? O sea, es el, el poner la ropa en la lavadora y luego en la secadora. Eso se refiere mayormente a hablar acerca del do the laundry. Mm, y luego, pues, ¿qué otra? Eh, oh, aquí, escuché que varios dijeron talking, aquí es taking. Sí, sería taking. Se parece bastante, se parece mucho a la palabra talking, pero le falta, ¿verdad? Aquí una L para que fuese talking. Sería taking. They spend more time taking care of children or of the children. Sí, taking care of the children. Significa entonces, eh, take care, la palabra take care se trata eh, acerca o trata acerca de cuidar. Entonces, taking care of the children pues se refiere a eso, ¿verdad? A cuidar a los niños. Entonces, ya, yeah. men spend more time taking care of the children. Um, y de ahí, pues, creo que solamente eso sería, ¿sí? O sea, recordar nada más. Esta es la... Ah, oh, otra cosa que para que no se nos vaya a pasar y que nunca se nos olvide, espero que, que sea así. Eh, cuando hablamos de hombres o mujeres en inglés, no se utilizan con la S. O sea, por ejemplo, la diferencia entre un hombre y hombres es solamente una letra, sí. Man, igual que en español, pero en español es una letra diferente, va. Pero bueno, man para un solo hombre y men para dos o más. Cuando utilizamos esto del apóstrofe S, a lo que se refiere es a la posesión. Creo que es algo que ustedes ya conocen, ¿verdad? Hablar acerca de posesión con apóstrofe S. Entonces, aquí sería men's work, sí. Y sí suena así, men's work, porque el apóstrofe S hace que suene así pero no se refiere a que eh, el trabajo de hombres, ¿sí? sino que el men, la e, es la que hace la diferencia. Entonces acá en lugar de decir women's work, sería women's work. Sí, women's work. Women's work. Uh, así que bueno, esas serían como las palabras que en cierto modo, ¿verdad? Teníamos o tendríamos que repasar más adelante. Pero bueno, ya les he dicho... La lectura es importantísima porque tiene varias características que nos pueden ayudar bastante en el desarrollo de las habilidades lingüísticas. Una de las características principales para mí es la del vocabulario, o sea, porque podemos obtener más, más vocabulario, más acceso a vocabulario mientras leemos. La otra es la cuestión, ¿verdad?, que tiene que ver mucho con la confianza que tenemos, o sea, porque cuando estamos hablando... Alguien me hace una pregunta, yo tengo que contestarla, tengo que pensar qué decir. En cambio, con lectura, simplemente sigo la línea de lo que ya está escrito. Y por otro lado, puede ser un tanto de lo del pace, ¿verdad? Qué tan rápido yo puedo aprender a leer y asimismo eso después lo puedo traducir a la forma en la que yo hablo. O sea, qué tan rápido yo puedo hablar. Um, y pues, por otro lado, es, existe un poco eh, la cuestión de la pronunciación. Eso es un poquito más compleja porque, claro, tenemos que prestar atención a lo que estamos leyendo, a lo que estamos viendo, pero ayuda también la lectura con la pronunciación. Eh, mi consejo pues sería que intenten, ¿verdad? Acostumbrarse a leer un poquito, ¿sí? Cada, cada semana, o sea, el fin de semana, ta tratar de tomar un párrafo aunque sea y tratar de repasarlo, porque eso, créanme, les va a ayudar bastante a obtener como esta costumbre y luego el poder ir adquiriendo, ¿verdad? Vocabulario, fluidez y más confianza con su inglés, con la lectura. Porque hablar, si bien es cierto, ayuda, pero eso de que tenemos que pensar a veces lo que vamos a decir es lo que puede invalidar un poco, ¿verdad? Eh, la ayuda que nos pueda dar el hablar. Pero bueno, eso solamente es un consejo. So, for now, what uh, we're going to do is wrap it up until here. So, thank you guys very much for your attention and participation during this class. I hope I will see you tomorrow for the last class of this module. So, yeah. Have a really good night and see you tomorrow, guys, to um, finish this whole thing. So, yeah. Thank you. See you, teacher. Have a good evening. Bye bye.